So when I met Andrew, I was a cheerleader at Baylor. He was at Truett Seminary and had um, a mutual friend set us up on a blind date. And we went um, actually out on his birthday. And then the next time we went out was on my birthday. And we country western danced at Christmas in Salado. And he stole my heart at that moment. It's been the greatest son that anybody could have. He's been really talented. Uh, he's accomplished a lot in a 30 year span. He was a great football player. He was a good student. He's been a fantastic author. He's a great inspirational speaker. And I think his life will speak for itself when he's gone. Uh, we all love him and we're going to miss him. And we're going to hold on to him as long as we can. And you won't stop now. I think uh, Bailey has inspired me uh, the most by seeing uh, the challenges she has in her life and meeting them head on and not um, not giving them up. It's, um, you know, she's had a lot of big, um, a lot of big challenges that she hadn't had to deal with. Uh, some that some people might think are little, but. Um, some that are big, and so she's really hit them head on, and um, she's grown as a person, and uh, uh, I think that's admirable, and I think that means that no matter what she comes up against in life, that she's going to come, she'll come up against it again, and she'll conquer it, and that makes, that makes me really proud, you know, um, so... Yeah. me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon. a gray faith is about um, knowing that there are gray areas in our faith. That there are questions that we don't know the answer to, but not getting bogged down with the questions, more so um, embracing the questions and asking them and then being okay that we don't have the answers and trusting that God has the whole, um, has our purpose like for our life under control and he knows exactly why we are where we are and just to really trust him in that and rest in what we do know, which is that Christ died for us.
He's my hero, and I just admire him so much for how he's handled this whole situation. I would only hope that I could handle cancer as well as he has, and um, just I hope he knows how much he's inspired me and what an incredible husband and um, father he's been, and just I'm so blessed to have been on this journey with him, and I hope he knows that it was worth it for me.